Hi guys, Cindy Krause here with Krause House Sift and Thrift. Hope you're doing well. I was gonna do something a little different on the video today. Instead of talking about reselling, I'm going to talk to you about two things that happened to me today that weren't very fun. But I got a resolution of both of them, so I thought I would share them with you in case this will help you, in case you run into any of these situations. The The first is yesterday I took a shower. I was going to use my regular Nivea bath cream. Um, it's a moisturizer. I get it from Amazon for five bucks. It's amazing. It's like coconut scented. It's wonderful. But it's um, running late from Amazon. So I had to use this backup moisturizer. I bought it from Ross a few weeks ago. I've only used it once. I didn't like the cons consistency of it. But I thought I'll just use it until I get my other moisturizer. So I used it. And then yesterday during the afternoon, I noticed my palms were feeling a little itchy. And I thought, huh. But I kept working. I just ignored it. Then by the evening, my palms were getting more itchy and red. So by the time I went to bed, they were kind of pretty itchy. <laughs> so I used hydrocortisone. I took some antihistamine pills, two of them. I thought I'll wake up. It'll be done because I've had hives before and I know exactly what to do. I have to take an antihistamine. Sometimes I take a bath with oatmeal. Um, it's like a bubble bath kind of thing and uh, that really works and it's gone in a couple hours but um, I went to sleep and woke up at two in the morning and my, pal my palms were itching unbearably and I'm like oh my goodness this is worse than I thought so I just put some hydrocortisone on them but they were still itching so I took some more antihistamines and I took a sleeping pill so I could go back to sleep because I was really it really bothered me the itching so I woke up again at like six o'clock and I noticed that it had traveled all over my body. I mean, I was itching everywhere, my scalp, my face, my neck, my legs, my stomach. Oh, it's crazy. And my eyes were swollen. Have you guys ever seen Hitch? <laughs> it reminded me of that scene where Will Smith, um, he ate, he had a food allergy to something he ate and he's, they made it Hollywood-like, of course, that his whole head was swelled and his whole face was unrecognizable because <laughs> he was so allergic to the seafood he ate. But I was thinking of that. I wasn't that bad, but yeah, so I'll, I'll put a little picture of him up in the screen so you guys see what I'm talking about. But my eyes were uh, swollen, so I couldn't open them all the way and it was bothering me and they were itchy. My eyelids were itchy and I'm like, oh my goodness, this is not like my regular hives. Usually I get like a heat rash and it's not itchy, but it's not fun either. Um, but that, like I said, I've gotten a couple times because I'm allergic to naproxen. I didn't know that the first time. So when I took it again, I'm like, oh yes, I remember this. So I'm allergic to naproxen. So uh, if that happens, you guys, if you break out with the proxen, just take an an a couple of antihistamines. You could always take an oatmeal bath. Um, you wanna use cold compresses and kind of just lay down and just take it easy and it'll pass pretty quickly uh, within a couple hours, like I said. The first time it happened to me, I freaked, but what happened the second time, I knew exactly what it was and I knew it wasn't gonna last. But this was completely different. This was really itchy. And it wasn't, um, it didn't cover my whole body like the other hives. It was just a blotchy, just little blotchy spots all over me. So I'm like, okay, this is something totally different. But I figured it was the lotion that was the culprit. So John and I, um, I told John when I woke up, okay, to continue, I told John when I woke up and he's like, oh no, we got to get you to a doctor. And I was thinking, I'll oh, just go get me some Benadryl. But 
he was right. He said, you know what, uh, getting hives don't necessarily mean something that you've done to your body, but it could be an internal thing that sh that's manifesting itself externally. So I said, okay, you're right, I should go to the doctor. So we went, had to wait a long time, of course, because we didn't have an appointment. <laughs> and then uh, finally got in there, met with the lady, she was like a PA. And she's like, "Have you?" Uh, we kind of narrowed it down that the lotion was probably the culprit because she said, you always want to look for the new thing that could cause this. So fortunately I did, I suspected the lotion already. So that kind of confirmed it. And then she said, did you shower? And I said, no, I did yesterday. And she goes, you might want to go home and shower and get that stuff off you. And I thought, oh, great idea. Didn't even occur to me. And she was great and helpful. And she gave me a prescription for like a prescription dose of like a Benadryl. So we went to the pharmacy, we got it. And it's one of these things, tapered doses, where you take two at breakfast, one after lunch, one before dinner, one before bed bedtime. And she, it's like a pack of pills. So I came home, I took the two, I was supposed to have after breakfast because the pharmacist said that was fine. And uh, within 15, 20 minutes, I started feeling unbelievably better. You know, I was, before that, I was itching all over the place. I mean, I was fine in the murder clinic, waiting, but I was uncomfortable. So once that went into effect, oh my gosh, I just feel so much better, you guys. I I still have a little bit on me. Um, you can see kind of a trail of the hives here, but they're much more reduced than they were and they're lighter. This is what Sparta did to me um, almost two weeks ago and it's still there. It was a deep cut. I was holding him, trying to give him medicine because he had a a bladder infection and he did not like John was trying to get in him get it in his mouth and I was holding him and he didn't like that so he scratched me it was bleeding like crazy but I don't blame him he's a cat he was just scared so it's okay it feels better but you know the funny thing is that was itchy for a long time and I, I had to put a lot of cord I had a cortisone on it so it's just funny how scratches can be itchy and hives obviously are itchy some of them not all of them so i feel tremendously better i'm going to continue with the dosages i know probably be all done with this by tomorrow or the next day so i'm very thankful that's done so i do recommend you guys go see a professional if you have that same situation i did or if you just happen to have the liquid benadryl or the a tablet form you could always take that and see if it worked but what the, I had did not kick it out. The antihistamine was not working for me. So that's why I, I went to a doctor. All right, the second thing was today I was trying to upload my videos from my phone. I film all my video, videos on my iPhone. I just got an iPhone 11 and it wasn't working. It, it would, wouldn't would recognize, like I would plug um, from my phone to the computer and it would pop, it would make that sound, ding, and then it'll pop up like what videos or, or uh, fo photos do you want to import? So I clicked on the video I want to import and you can, usually it'll see one, zero out of one, you'll see like a bar going across and you know you're good. There was none of that. And after a few seconds, it defaulted back to there's an error, try again, and it never worked. I tried everything. I tried different cords. I tried, or cables. I tried uh, different ports on my computer, thinking some of them are burned out. That didn't work. I was going Googling YouTube videos and uh, tutorials and nothing was working. I even installed some programs. They said, make sure you have the latest version of iTunes. So I uninstalled iTunes and I reinstalled iTunes, it wasn't working. Finally got back onto Google and I typed it in again. How um, can I upload photos from my iPhone 11 to my computer? And uh, they said, restart your phone. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't believe I didn't think of that. You always want to do a restart when you're having issues with your computer or your phone. Um, I've had a couple of computer techs over the years when I was an admin in offices, and they always said the first thing you need to do is restart your computer. And 99% of the time that solves whatever the issue is because your complete computer has glitched for whatever reason, and your phone does the same thing. So I rebooted it. Uh, put 
the USB in and I have one of these new phones now with the USB-C. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, but I had to buy an actual adapter so I could use it with my uh, computer and my car and anywhere else. So anyway, once I rebooted my computer, I got the video downloaded and is all is well with the world. Yes, it was very stressful dealing with the hive situation and not be able to get my video uploaded to my computer. That took me like two hours out of my day. I haven't even started on eBay today. In fact, I just packed up the packages that were going out today in the nick of time for John to take them to the post office. I just hate things that are a time waster. And that was a total time waster because I just couldn't figure it out. I was like praying to God, please show me how to do this. <laughs> and then when I read the thing about rebooting my phone, I'm like, oh gosh, yes, duh. But that's okay. You know, live and learn. As long as we learn from these things that we go through, that's all that matters. So I'm good now. I'm having a great rest of the day. I hope you guys are too. I hope this helps you. And I will see you next time. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.